Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be doing the Mayan M5, which is the fourth car on Car Mechanic Simulator as a story car. So we're going to go through the car, we're going to see what's wrong with it, and then we're going to fix all the problems. So without further ado, let's get it on, shall we? Rightio, so the car has arrived, first things first, let's get this onto the lift, shall we? Right, so we're going to lift it up, we're going to see if there's any notes for this car, and if there isn't, that means we've got to do a diagnosis ourselves. So there's no, there's no, there's nothing in there. Uh, when driving through a city, I didn't notice a speed bump, and please check the front suspension because I have it. Right, okay. So basically, this person's collided with the speed hump in the middle of a town, and we think that the front end is basically knackered. So when we get into the examination, we're going to see if this is going to make sense. And look at that, suspension's gone. Even the radiator has been damaged. So what we're going to do is we're going to dismount everything and replace it all. So thankfully, whilst looking at this, the actual sort of like the, the bar underneath the engine hasn't been hurt, it's just the suspension, so we won't have to charge her all of that money. So as you can see, all of this stuff I can do at the moment by just doing it on the base level of uh, the actual lift. But I think the bottom parts, the actual like the suspension arms themselves, they're going to have to be done whilst lifting the car all the way to the top because we can't get underneath the car for the moment. So after I've taken, we're going to do that now, and we'll get the rest of the suspension off. Okay, we're going to lower it down, and I think we're going to take the radiator off as well, because that looks pretty beat up. Okay, so everything in red, we're going to bung onto a store. I'm just going to make sure. I oh, know, yeah, we've got to take the springs apart first. So we've got to take the springs apart first, because we have to order each individual part that's been wrecked by hitting the speed hump. So make sure you take the springs apart before you order anything in. Okay, so that's the spring stripped down. I think we've done everything for the car. Let's get into the inventory. So everything that's got a big red line underneath it, we're going to be replacing. So we're going to make this into our shopping list. And if you don't know about shopping lists, there is a shopping list icon in the top right hand corner now. That'll teach you how to use the basic controls of how to do this. And then from there, we'll uh, you can get better at making things more quicker for you. Okay, so on the computer, let's bring up my shopping list. And then we're just going to buy everything. So uh, I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to watch this. Okay, so that's the computer part done. Let's get all this stuff back into the car, shall we? So like I've said, it's always best to actually sort of do this with the ability of being able to see everything you're putting back. Now I think there is a professional mode, and the professional mode is, but yeah, I don't think you get the guide of putting things back into place, or even finding out where things are going wrong in the first place. You literally have to break that down for yourself and just hope you're getting it right. Now, thankfully, I'm not a professional, so that means I get this lovely guide of where everything goes so I don't have to really think about it. But it does make me sort of really respect what mechanics actually do for cars instead of just going, yeah, you know what, mate, we're going to rip you off, we're going to do this. Which, you know, to be fair, that's the sort of mentality that a lot of people have about mechanics. Doing all this, you sort of realise how much work goes into the stuff that they're doing for you, you know? And at the end of the day, that's the, better, that's the good part about this game. It makes you sort of realise what people do for you when you can't do it yourself. So we're going to put the suspension back together because that definitely needs to be done. Mm -hmm. 
don't forget guys, if you are liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button, at least that. I know it will drop a comment down in the section to say this actually helped you because these are, these videos are actually sort of guides on how to do this so you guys don't get lost. So I've taken all the parts apart, you've actually seen the build and now you're seeing it all being put together. So if you have got any comments, chuck them down below. If you have got any like, if, if you do want to like it, it's all good. We're going to raise the car to the top because we've got to put the base of the suspension arms back on. Okay, and then we've got to put the radio back in because that was the last part that got damaged. And I think that's about it. I think we're done with this. Put the hood down. Make sure that we've done everything. I think that, yep, and it's all done. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Still. And until the next video, live stream, or whatever else I do on my channel, don't forget to the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will see you all in another video. So peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye.